Hi there, thank you for clicking on this video. My name is Cece. We have a poppy reaction, and not just one song, we have two songs to react to. The Cost of Giving Up and Crystallized. Both of these off for upcoming album, Negative Spaces, which comes out in November, and at least one of them has a visualizer. Crystallized has a visualizer, but it says that The Cost of Giving Up only has an audio, so we'll at least be reacting to one visualizer. Not only are these songs out there, but I noticed and I also was told that there is a collaboration going on for like a TV show that Poppy is doing. Apparently the first episode is free. The other ones cost money. So if you want me to watch the first episode, let me know. But if the other ones cost money, chances are I'm probably not gonna watch it. But yeah, I think that would be a fun video to do. I also have a Poppy series on my channel where I have reacted to her discography in backwards chronological order. I have a playlist for it. Once this album comes out, I should probably update my album rankings, and I know I eventually want to do a top 10 to 12 song rankings too. It's just, it's been very difficult to pick like 10 to 12 specific poppy songs that I love the most because it either rotates or I'm just like, oh wait, I don't want to leave out that song or I don't want to leave out that song, you know? But I really want to do more ranking videos. If you're a returning viewer, welcome back. And if you're new here, welcome. Feel free to subscribe and let's get into this reaction. First, we're going to be listening to The Cost of Giving Up. I'm already liking this intro, actually. Ooh. Poppy. I'm loving the sound that this album is bringing so far. Oh my god. This pre-chorus and chorus is bringing me back to like 90s, 2000s rock. Bro, as if I was alive in the 90s. <laughs> Wait, I'm hearing the lyrics now. I've been so focused on the sound, I'm finally hearing the lyrics. Kind of brought me back to listening to Nirvana, Deftones, Bring Me the Horizon, Evanescence. It just felt like I was listening to that stuff. I'm so excited to hear what all these other songs are gonna be like. Next month is far away but it's not, but it feels like it's gonna be forever until this album comes out. And 15 songs too, we are gonna be fed. I feel like at this point, that's why I'm okay with listening to the songs that she's putting out before the album so far, because if it was less songs on the album, like if it was just 10 songs, and she was putting out like four so far, I probably wouldn't have reacted to these two because I tend to like to enjoy having my first listen of the album have a majority of the songs be stuff I've never heard before, and it'll still be that way after four songs. Plus, I'm very impatient for this album. Now, let's listen to Crystallized. Wait. This does not sound like rock. This does not sound like New Way Out, They're All Around Us, or The Cost of Giving Up. I'm not disappointed. I'm not criticizing it at all. I'm shocked right now because I'm like, oh, we're getting multiple sounds on this album, not just rock. This also sounds kind of nostalgic. Hey, I'm loving this beat. Wait! The second chorus is gonna be longer, I can tell. Oh my god. The way the pre chord. <laughs> there we go. Ooh, the voice. Oh! The what is this outro? I thought it was over. That 
sounded like it was going to smoothly lead into another song and connect. And if that is going to happen, I'm going to be so excited. I'm going to scream, at least internally, if that is the case, because I love that stuff. I haven't seen where any of these songs on the track list are, so I have no idea. That outro blew me away. The whole song blew me away, honestly. I was not expecting this, but it was so amazing. She just suddenly brought in this second sound for the album, and I'm like, ooh, what other songs are gonna be like that? Because now I'm expecting a diverse set of sounds for this album, like I Disagree. I'm still impressed to this day with I Disagree and Am I a Girl and those sound transitions and how they could just change into a different sound so seamlessly. If Negative Spaces also does that, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go crazy. Okay, I have no idea if the cost of giving up is an audio or a visualizer, but let's click on it and find out. It looks like a visualizer. She's moving around. Looks like some kind of crash happened. Okay, yeah, that was kind of all of it. So I see why she made that an audio, but it was still kind of a visualizer. Maybe not all of the songs on the album will have visualizers, but let's watch the crystallized visualizer. I'm so excited for that one. I'm still reeling over that song. I'm already loving these visuals. Oh, and she's crying. <gasps> There's the mini poppy and the big poppy again. The black tears, the white water. It's like the album cover. I feel like in all of these videos, she's holding Poppy up like that. The more I listen to the song, the more I love it. Oh my gosh, she's eating her! Whoa! Oh my god, that is more- Oh, we're gonna have so much to talk to after I finish this. Wait, and that poppy's like kind of up in the clouds or like the the album thoughts that I have right now. The thoughts that I have right now. Oh, that transition. I'm telling you, that has to smoothly go into whatever song is next on the track. Okay, let me collect all of my thoughts. I really hope I don't end up missing something out. So we got Poppy in this black and light blue. I said white before, but it's more light blue. This like black and blue water, kind of like a fish or a siren or something like that. And apparently the black in the water, it's stuff that's on the mini poppy, but like also the big poppy is crying these black tears. So that could be going into the water and that could be the big poppy's tears. Then the big poppy picks the little poppy up. It looks like the big poppy's like up in the clouds or something, and especially in that first clip or just on top of the water. And this time the big poppy eats the little poppy. I remember in the They're All Around Us visualizer, the small poppy won that visualizer. But then in this visualizer, the big poppy won. It varies on which poppy wins the visualizers, I guess. I would definitely say the most happened in this visualizer. This has been my favorite visualizer so far. I'm in love with it. And I'm also in love with the song. That helps me enjoy the visualizer even more than I already do. I know I'm leaving stuff out. Oh, the black eyes. Because I know in some of her content before, at least I've been told, she has like these like blackened eyes and some stuff and it was in this visualizer too. So when it comes to ranking these songs, in my first initial thoughts, I would say so far, Crystallize is my favorite one. New Way Out is my second favorite. So New Way Out has now been dethroned by Crystallize. And then The Cost of Giving Up, I really like that one too. And then I, for now, would still say Last Place is There All Around Us. I like that song, but I definitely don't like it as much as the other three. What are your thoughts, theories, favorite songs off of this album so far? Let me know down in the comments below. Like this video and subscribe for more. I have done plenty of other music reactions, poppy reactions too. I've also done covers of songs that I like, including Linger and Dead Flowers. And I will leave the playlist for those things up on my screen for you to watch if you would like to. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.